In the book of Jeremiah, 32, 27, this is one of my, I just love this verse. It's one of my favorite verses. But this is what it says is, Behold, behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? And I just really believe that there's some of you out there that just really need some encouragement in some of the situations that you've been faced with or some of the circumstances that are surrounding you. I want you to be encouraged from the Word of God, and I want you to be encouraged from this promise. God is saying here, is there anything too hard for me? You know, in Isaiah, it talks about God making a way in the wilderness and Him making a way in the desert. And is there anything that God cannot do? You know, we read throughout the scriptures and we see how God has come through with His people in miraculous ways. God can do anything. With Him, all things are possible. And I want you to know today that in your situation, if you're having marital problems, if you're in your finances, you know, if there's, if there's a sickness that is plaguing you or one of your, you know, family members, there is nothing impossible for God. He is the God of all flesh. And he says, you know, if you seek me, you will find me. And I want you to just press into seeking God. He knows you. He knows, he knows your heart's cry. He knows he, he's already heard your heart's cry. He knows what your situation is. Go to him with it because God can do all things. You know, we, in and of ourselves, there is nothing that we can do. We are flesh. We truly are. And so, but God, God can do anything and everything in your situation. There's nothing that he cannot do. There is nothing that he cannot, you know, come through with for you. So I just encourage you, go to God. And if you feel like you have been going to God, and you just don't have breakthrough in certain situations, I just want to pray over you right now. And I just want to ask that God, that you would release a spirit of breakthrough upon these people that are listening. And they feel down and out, God, and they're just saying, God, there is no way for me. There is nothing I can do. I've been here crying. I've been here weeping before you, and I just have no way. And I just right now want to release a spirit of breakthrough over you right now in the name of Jesus. I just cover you with the blood of Jesus. And I just declare and decree that God would make a way for you right now, that he would just set financial provision in place for you, whatever that might be, that he would cancel your debt, and that he would heal you of any sickness that you might have right now in the name of Jesus. And God, I just declare that you would just right now encounter your people and encounter the one that's hurting and in pain. You know that Jesus came to set the captives free. Do you know what captive is? It's not just I'm being held captive in some jail or some prison of some sort. It's being held captive by the bonds of the enemy. God came to set you free from that, to remove those strongholds. It's that anointing of God. You know, God, we just ask that you would pour yourself over your people right now. God, that all strongholds would be loosened right now in the name of Jesus, and that you would come in your love, because your love, oh God, covers a multitude, a multitude of sins. So I just ask right now that your Holy Spirit just envelop your people, just envelop everyone that's watching today, and that you would right now just begin to just feel the presence of God over you, that you would know that He is around you, He is within you, He is above you, He's beneath you, He's all over, that you would just feel Him right now. So Father God, just come, Holy Spirit, come, and just refresh your people, renew your people, and bring breakthrough in their lives. In the name of Jesus.